we're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. It is the 18th of January, 2017. Uh, here's a, uh, well, it's a CP4 press, but you can see the normal air cylinder arrangement to push the cone shut. Our testing, uh, we have a lot of screw presses here. Anyway, our testing's over here, and we're going to uh, uh, try a different arrangement on the cone opening. Uh, this is the material we're going to test. This time we heated it up, not trying to use the double boiler, just applying direct heat and keeping it stirring, stirred, so we didn't uh, overcook anything. And um, it's citrus. Uh, we're going to run it in this press right here. Oh, we got it up to 170 Fahrenheit. We kept it stirred so we didn't burn any. And um, a fine perf screen. Looks like 023 or 033 perforated screen, tiny holes. The cone is actuated by this mechanism here. We can turn this and push the cone open or shut. We've got it set for a sixteenth of an inch open or something. We don't have the rotating cone in motion, um, and that's what it would do. But um, we'll see what it does. What do you get? 55, 60, 60? 160 Fahrenheit. Engineers get paid for doing this here. Elizabeth is trying to chase one of our chickens into uh, the photograph. Uh, the chickens are pets. Oh, there's the, uh, that's Harley the dog. Uh, his job is to guard the chickens. These are KP-16 presses. And uh, goodness knows we've got an assortment of uh, presses here. We've got the screw turning slowly. It's slowed down with the VFD. Heating in. A little bit of liquid coming out. Okay, uh, we had to open the cone a little bit more. Uh, that's pretty good action. We're getting a steady stream of water. Uh, okay, let's start a time test. We're opening the cone a little bit more. That's That looks good. It's coming out now. So we might be in open an eighth of an inch. Still getting a steady stream of water. We're 36 seconds into our time test. By measuring the uh, amount of press liquor that we get and the amount of press cake that we get, we get the capacity of the press, adding those two up. We just make sure we uh, stop the test before it starts to run empty. We're getting some puree coming through the screen at this point down here. This is pretty good liquid. The amount of puree you see is just a few drops coming through compared to the flow of liquid, so this looks bad, but it may be negligible. You can always blank off that part of the screen. Cake coming out. I think it's, yeah, it's too hot to, to squeeze. We're keeping a, a level slightly over the top of the screw. Uh, you can see the screw turning and, and it's covered over the inlet to the screen area. That's important. We opened the cone a little bit more. Now that looks pretty good to me. On the other side over here, it's channeling on, on the other side, but, but we'd expect that. We could get a better fitting cone. Okay, we've run uh, four and a half minutes, and uh, we're running uh, lower on material. We've cleaned out our pot, so um, in 20 seconds we'll stop the test. Uh, here's what we got in five minutes. A uh, gallon and a half down there, and quite a bit of press cake. Uh, this is uh, you know, the manufacturer cloud is the end product. We're in the early stages here, obviously. Minus 3.6. Yeah. 7.9? 
11 9 pounds of pressed cake and 12 9 pounds of pressed liquor. So um, that's a good separation, 50-50. We're cleaning out the press so we can run our other sample. This was the no shear material. And um, we had two buckets of the other one, but uh, UPS broke one, so we're done. we'll run just one pail. This is the uh, next sample we're going to heat up, the five gallons. It's called uh, Ad Mix. You can see it's got uh, all the plugs and bigger stuff filtered out of it already. Okay, we're feeding some of the material labeled Ad, Lick, Ad Mix. And um, we didn't clean the press out completely. So there'll be some residual material from the no shear. And uh, got less liquid coming through the screen, but we do have a steady flow. I uh, don't have enough to run a capacity test here, but we will uh, see if the screen blinds over, if it keeps on working, if liquid keeps coming out. We did get it up to 170 Fahrenheit. Okay, the float is diminished. We did open the cone enough to let out the uh, earlier test material, see if a few floods coming out. So small. That's not negligible. It's not a. It's enough to uh, maybe be worthwhile. Okay, you can tighten down the cone a bit. Okay, we set it so its cake is coming out. It's channeling, but that's due to an un uneven aperture here at the uh, discharge cone. We're still getting a. Steady flow of liquid. Where, um, that's the last of our sample. This is a standard KP6 press. Really need at least two five gallon pails to run a uh, capacity test with it. It's emptying very slowly. Very low capacity, in other words. Although we do have a steady flow of press liquor, the screen is not blinded over. Uh, probably less pulp coming through the screen than before. And, um, oh, I did try the fist test on the sample of the no shear material, and it's as dry as a screw press can get it. That is, I couldn't squeeze a drop of water out of the press cake from the previous test. Low capacity, but maybe it's doing some good. So this is what we got in three minutes. Uh, a lot less liquid separation under that 50-50 split that we got on the other sample. There's a few black burn specks in this. Probably heated it up too fast. And the press is empty, but still dripping some. We've opened up the discharge cone. Empty the press out. This is the uh, material like our screen uh, half, we're making the largest screw press. We're down in the screw department, uh, screen department, excuse me, and assembly, uh, press going together, 